Uh, and then we're, we're all in a turn here. Lubeck's very confused for about uh, 60 seconds. Um, and then he starts to kick the shit out of people um, who apparently uh, can, can't stop shotgun bullets, but they can stop lasers. Um, and then we go into the brilliant end fight, which I, tra which transformation I read. First. The yeah. transformation and yeah, then this e end fight, which, which I read the director had to pay out of his own pocket to shoot because they had shut it down and said no more. Oh, and basically, no. that's why it's all dark and there's only a few random lights. No way! Together, mm -hmm. And he said, look, we need this M5, guys, and we've got nothing. So he paid for oh. it in his own pocket and got on the set and just did it. No way! That makes so oh. much sense now. Yeah, because the lighting goes from bright yeah. to bright, darkness yeah. and a red light, <laughs> wow. uh, and then back up to brightness. And also, there's no cutaways for the other cast watching the fight it's yeah. just the fight um so but i love that fight but yeah i thought it was fascinating wow that's mind-blowing right now holy crap i always thought it was an artistic choice you know but <clears throat> wow there you go there you go no Chat, studio studio the show how low yeah they said you're done tomorrow pack up yeah. tomorrow. oh <laughs> shit <laughs> There you go. You got a little cannon. You got a little cannon. There you go, chat. That's how low budget the movie was. They didn't even have time or money to finish the end fight, and the director had to do it on his own. Wow. So we were lucky to even get that. Perfect. Perfect.